Okay, one of the new things with Photoshop uh, CS5.1 is the ability to use the Photoshop Touch SDK. So what we've done is be able to connect Photoshop to the tablet and we've released a number of uh, tools uh, that, are that are great instances of this. And in this case I'm going to show you one called Adobe Nav. Here we have on the iPad Adobe Nav running and you can also see behind there the toolbar in Photoshop. So one of the things that Adobe Nav allows me to do is do nothing more or less than select tools from my iPad and have those tools select on my um, Photoshop. Now this is just an engineering example of playing if I wanted to um, edit these tools, I can build my own panel and palettes of different tools and perhaps I, perhaps I always wanted to use the color replacement tool. So again, I'll put that in that spot there and then I'm done. So now when I'm working with Photoshop, I can hit the color replacement tool and you see it's popped up there. That's all very well, that just gives you an example of the iPad driving Photoshop. But you'll also notice here that I have a number of images opened. So the example I want to use is that when you're not next to your machine and you are wanting to drive Photoshop, and in this case we'll still use Adobe Nav, and I'm going to swap to the other panel, because what you can see here is the um, images loaded onto the iPad, and I'm going to make Photoshop take up half the screen and the camera the other half, and you'll be able to see here that the model I've been using is my Photoshop is downstairs in my studio on my large machine, but I've got my iPad with me uh, in the boardroom talking to the customer or uh, in my um, office talking to um, the sales manager, whatever. But again, I can select each one of these images here and you'll see they will change on the Photoshop screen okay, as I move through them. Again, on the iPad, if I double tap on it, it will give me the information about that, uh, that image. And so if I'm trying to go through pick conference or anything like that, I'm able to use the iPad if I want to see more of it. I can simply zoom in on the iPad. And meanwhile, back in my studio, my Photoshop file is doing the same thing here. Okay, So I'm literally, as long as I'm on the same wireless network, whatever's coming up on the iPad is coming up on the machine back running Photoshop. So that's one good way to drive Photoshop using the Photoshop Touch SDK, which is available at no cost download it, get the Photoshop 5.1 update and start to build some wonderful applications that tie your iPad to your Photoshop.